What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Modes Film Session. And today, we're breaking down all seven of Pat Firemove's touchdowns as a rookie. I mean, come on now, you know I'm a Pat Firemove guy. And of course, I love to watch him score touchdowns. So without further ado, there he is on the back side of this formation at the tight end spot. Play it in full speed, after that, we'll break it down. I mean, first off, how do you not love it, right? You talk about Pat, man, this is simple. Backside, uh, or excuse me, he's in an empty alignment, okay? So obviously he's in the formation. One, two, three guys being up top, okay? Make it down. One, two, three up top. Pat in that tight end position. You got Juju on the backside by himself, or not by himself, but you know what I mean. He's the single uh, wide out right here. But this is just the simple um, little pitch play, man, that we always see the Steelers run, especially in the goal line situations right here. But man, just watching Pat be an athlete, baby. Show what you can do. First touchdown as a Steeler. Love it. Eyes, nice secured catch. Physicality, boom, run through that tackle. Ah, oh, like it, ah, oh, like it. That's what you wanna see though, baby. That's what you wanna see. Shout out to the homie, Pat Fryer, move. Simple, celebration. I'm mad the camera cut it before I can see the spike. But man, love this right here. Simple play. Uh-huh, nice little pitch. Run through it, physical. Secure the ball. And tutty bird number one. Let's go. Uh-oh, time for touchdown number two. Don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe. Stop wasting time. Hit them both and that notification bell. But right here, we got my man Pat in the slot. Love it, love it, love it. Versatile can play any spot that you want when you're talking about Pat, man. You have him in the slot, you have him front side of the formation, back side of the formation, in the nub, by himself. I mean, however you want it, this guy wins. But let's show it, baby, and then we'll talk about it. What's up, Pat? What's up? Uh-uh, uh, uh, off the line. Can't touch me. Uh. Yeah! Ooh! I get excited. I'm sorry. I like when I see tight ends be guys. And trust me, Pat, definitely one of them dudes right here, man. But this is simple, man. He's uh gonna be manned up one-on-one -on -one with this uh, interior slot corner. Nice little shake off the line of scrimmage right here, man. Athletic, uh-uh. All right, and then from there, once he has him on his side, Pat knows where he's going. Pat trusts the quarterback, nice throw by seven. I know Deke is going to love that. You hear the shout out there. But here, jump ball, high pointing. Go get it. That's the ball. That's the ball. That's the defender. That's Pat. I love it, love it, love it. And watch the confidence. DB saying no. Pat, Tutty, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Play one more time, full speed for the culture. Uh, uh. He wins. He wins. My ball. Gotcha. I holla. I'm pausing right there for all you Cleveland fans out there. Yeah. All right, time for touchdown number three, where we got my man Pat, where he's aligned on the back side of the empty formation, but this time he's in the slot, all right? We talked about that first one, back side of the empty, he was in the core. That was the little flip play, all right? So let's break it down after we see it in full speed, baby. Oh, okay, uh-uh, uh-uh, what, what's up? Uh, can't hold me, uh, get off me, uh, tidy. Yay! I told you. If I was an offensive player, I would be Pat Fryer if it's a tight end, bro. I just, uh, uh, something like that. No, probably not. But in my mind, at least. But, um, simple process right here, man. Like I said, empty formation. So the Bears obviously adjust to that. They're playing, uh, it's a cover one. This is going to be your middle field safety. This LB that's aligned on Pat is more window dressing. But this safety has Pat one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to be your low hole defender, all right? But with that being the case, I say, man, if you're going to guard my man Pat one-on-one, -on -one, good luck. So, for Pat, all right, LB, like I talked about, low hole defender. Okay, you see him right there. You got your safety pulling off right there. But now you got Pat one-on-one -on -one with this safety inside leverage. But Ben's not looking this way. So, what does he do? Stay alive. All right, let's work to the quarterback. Oh, he sees Ben coming back. All right, be quarterback friendly. Shake him up, get open. I like that right there. I like it. And then from there, 
Can, you, can, can the crowd get some? Deep, you in there somewhere, baby. I see you, baby. You in there somewhere. But nah, man, you love that right there, man. Like I said, just being quarterback friendly. Understanding that, hey, all right, I might win right now. I'm open. But he's not looking. Just stay alive. Ah, 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 ah. Stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah. Play it one more time just because I like it. I mean, why wouldn't I like it? It's Pat Fry Moose going on the touchdown. Come on now. Who's not excited about that? This is beautiful. Huh. Another one. Let's go. Celebrate with your fans. Yes, indeed. All right, time for touchdown number four. Where's my man Alon? Backside, but this time he's the lone receiver. All right, and he's outside of the core. I like this, but it's a condensed split. Okay, not empty though because we got a running back. So we'll play it in full speed. And after that, we're going to break it down. But touchdown number four, man. He had a coming out party in the Chicago game. I remember this, two of them teddy birds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Spin that rock on him one time. Spin it on him one time, Pat, for that fourth touchdown, baby. But this one right here, man, with him being on the backside of this formation, it essentially forces the one-on-one. -on -one. It forces a man-to-man, -man, regardless of what they're doing to this front side, just based on his alignment right here. And what you do, I mean, I like that by the Steelers right here, man. This is a good concept by uh, Matt Canada in terms of this offense and starting to highlight Pat's ability to win one-on-ones, regardless of if it's a linebacker, corner, or even a safety at times. But um, with this particular play right here, man, Pat, just beating him. It's simple. We ain't going to overcomplicate this thing. Uh-uh. Nice release off the line of scrimmage. Okay, you try to get hands on him, but Pat's too big for this right here, man. But this is what I love. Nice little vertical route. Back short of ball placement. I know it gets a little grainy right here. But nice placement by seven. But for Pat to go up and get that rock the way that he does, man, that is a grown man touchdown right here grown man catch and like i said that's on the db right there i think that's what 22 right there yeah man so not an lb not somebody that doesn't have coverage skills nah this is a guy that knows how to cover tries to get physical with him but pat's too big and that's the thing that we like about pat too athletic for linebackers too big for these little corners and safeties and could go up and get that rock man that's big time though two's deuce man it's all right dudes deuce man just go ahead and take that l baby don't worry about it it's all right that's a victim that's a winner. That's a victim. All right. Play one more time, though, man, because it was past fourth touchdown, baby. Come on now. How you not getting excited about that one? But just a different alignment, right? We've seen him multiple times down to that backside, but that was the first time where he was the nub guy by himself. You a bad boy. You doing it like that, baby. So let's keep it going, Pat. All right. It's time for touchdown number five. With, I threw up 10. I meant like five and then five. It's the five, five. Y'all, come on, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right? Leave me alone. But anywho, here he is on the back side of the formation again, right? Now, we talked about that last time. He was aligned in here, okay? It was a little bit of a condensed split because he was working to get outside, right? Now, <clears throat> we're looking at him in this outside bottom of the numbers alignment. What is that telling you? in breaking routes come on man just deep football one-on-one -on -one. he ain't got a lot of space over here baby all right the information they're gonna give it to you now if you if you, if you read it they'll tell it to you but let's watch what he does for that that number five touchdown mm. okay oh switch a rooski hey now like that like that all right so with this particular play like i talked about first off his alignment minus two right in terms of or in terms of him being below the numbers here okay so I definitely like that part of it. But in terms of what we're asking him to do, we've seen him run vertical cross. We've seen him have to extend plays, all right? Scramble drill. We've seen him catch the flip early on, first touchdown, right? Flip pitch inside, touchdown. Now we're seeing him catch that screen pass, man, and just be an athlete. But this is the versatility that Pat plays with. If you're this corner right here, you gotta be, you know, pissed off because one minute you're thinking all right is he trying to take me vertical is he gonna try to give me an end breaking route all right is he gonna try to do the fade the the back shoulder no this time he gives me this comes back scream big guys coming out nice block chooks i see you all right but good work though man good work i said definitely excited about this dude right here though man I mean, how could you not be, right? I feel like he's in line. He's ready for that breakout season. We've been talking about him this all season, man. He's ready. If only my film would be ready, right? Film want to be acting all crazy sometimes, man. Trying to hate on me while we play this last play again. You know, you, you thought I won't go play this play again? Stop it. Oh, uh, there it is. Shoots one time. Ah, I see you, Kendrick. Get your block too. Yeah. Love it. 
All right, now it's time for touchdown number six. Now, he's not too impressed with this play. He doesn't even celebrate it because of the time and the game and the score, and I like that about him. But, man, I'm not going to lie. This is a heck of a catch right here, baby. So, here he is at the bottom of the screen. All right. Once again, this is pretty cool, right? We've seen him in the slot to the front side. We've seen him in that number three position to the front side. We've seen him in the back side on the nub by himself. We've seen him in the back extended. We've seen him condensed. Versatile, man. Like I said, you can align him anywhere. He's more than capable of winning. So here he is at the number one spot, all right? You get a matchup against a true corner right here. Let's see how he performs. All right, slow little release. Just trying to milk him to sleep. Huh, the one-hander? Ball placement, yes, the ball placement is legit. I cannot fault that. I cannot not state that. Shout out to the double negatives there. But definitely like this catch right here. And like I said, at this point of the game, man, obviously we know the score and things like that. But I like this right here, though, man. Slow off the line. Just getting a little, all right. Then from there, this, oh my goodness. This the one hand. You got DB here, DB here. Oh my goodness. Ooh. And takes a little shot at the end. Sheesh. And this gets up. Yeah, I caught the one-hander between two defenders for the tutty. I ain't celebrating here. You can have this ball back. Nah, this is beautiful though right here, baby. Beautiful play. And they said, nice little slant go, little sluggo action. Uh, uh, uh. Little lazy with it. But I think it's part of the design. And then, uh, let's get after it. Tutty bird. Let's go. That's number six. That's a heck of a six catch. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. All right, now it's time for the final touchdown from Pat's rookie season. And you know it was a good one, baby. First, the Minnesota Vikings. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. All right. But there he is on the backside. Nub, condensed split, right? You see, he's not all the way in the core, but he's not all the way out here. Ooh, something's up. Let's play this thing in full speed, though, baby. We'll talk about it more in a second. Oh no, not the DB. Oh. <laughs> all righty, all righty. So we talk about him being on the backside of this formation, man. So with this though, extended alignment, it protects him, all right? It makes this D lineman not be able to be a factor here. For this alignment right here, this D lineman either has to go inside or he has to go outside of Pat, okay? It's that simple. But that's why you do it though, man, because it's gonna ultimately help him get a free release and it's going to mess with this guy's alignment which ultimately will help this right tackle and help this quarterback right here all right but essentially with this coverage you're getting one-on-one -on -one, mano y mano and that's a corner right there but you know pat he don't care he said i don't care your corner safety linebacker anybody can get this work and let's watch my man work uh-huh get on them toes for you make your rope oh my goodness Oh no, <clears throat> did you just fall, partner? I know you ain't just fall. You cannot fall, that is a no-no. Yes, you did fall. That is not okay. That's the Pat Frymuth effect right there. Yeah, yeah. That's when you start to check your cleats. You're like, yo, is my cleats messed up, man? Is it wet out here? It's the gravitational pull. Cause you know, the earth is spinning and everything like that. That's the only reason why he fell. Yeah, all right. Shout out to Pat though, man. Just the details of it. Getting on his toes, boom. Putting that foot in the ground, nice sharp break, hands catch, get into that zone, man. Yo, I gotta watch it one more time. Sorry, I'm watching it one more time. Oh, uh, let's go. Yeah! You love to see it, baby. You love to see it. But for me, man, extremely excited about Pat, man. Those seven touchdowns that we just saw. Still can score from any position and in a multitude of ways, man. I'm extremely excited to see what he does in year two. Y'all let me know your thoughts on Pat, though, man, what his ceiling potentially is in year two. But as always, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.